Sorry, guys. Yeah, we're doing it again. We're doing Superman. Man of Tomorrow. This is the hard cover I got Christmas. You can go see that video to go check it out. Uh, this is the hardcover I got. It's really, really good. I love it. It's so good. Love that back and cover. So, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get into, like, what I think of the story and, you know, what I mostly think of the characters, you know, think of the character development that goes on. So, uh, yeah, um, let's see who, let's see how much Clark gets developed. Clark in this gets developed a lot. And I love it. He he doesn't get developed like a lot. Just I love how his parents are dead. But I don't like how it's like a dark version. <coughs> I always hated that with Superman. He's one of my favorite characters and I hate how they always have to dark like, ha have him be dark. And I love the armor look. I think John... Okay, let's talk about John Romita Jr.'s art really quick. Let me take this off. Black case. Um, this book has got to be one of my favorite Superman stories of all time. Clark is treated well. A lot of people are treated well in this. There's a side story at the end. There's... My there's a couple of variant covers. Uh, some of my favorite covers are from that. It there's an there's a, a John Romita Senior cover in here, which I love. Uh, this book is just full of awesome moments. If you have not picked it up, I swear. If you have not, I swear you should. Um, the Okay, let's talk about the writing. The writing from Jeff Johns. I didn't... I don't really like Jeff Johns. He... I don't really like his writing. So, uh, Justice League Origins, don't get all mad at me, but I thought it was nyeh. Um, I thought it was, you know, I thought it was just the Justice League fight, and then they fight the main villain. And, you know, was, there were some cool parts, but this book like, really helps, like, like, helps me think his writing is better, and just the Dark Side War that's going on right now is amazing, I'm loving it, it's so good, um, if you haven't been reading Dark Side War, pick it up, but this book, I <coughs> <coughs> love it for its art and its writing. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's move on to the coloring. The coloring, magnificent. Um, the coloring is amazing, you know, standard coloring, but if they recolored it, I would be fine with that, but it does look so good. I would be fine if they recolored it, you know, some parts are all like, what? Why, like, why is that water green, you know? You know, I I like how sometimes the background is red, and then sometimes it's like orange. Uh, and I love the color choices; it's just beautiful. And and uh, let's move on to the ink. The ink, magnificent from uh, Klaus Janssen. It's so good. The ink is. The inker knows what he's doing, and you can totally see that in his art. You know, the inker had to do so much in, like, little time. Well, not little time, but, like, had to do so much. So many little lines. Um, and let's move on to the art. The art... Oh my... Oh, just blew my mind. I mean, it's not the best art. I simply think uh, that John Romita... Junior's uh, Daredevil Man Without Fear run is like a better art than this, but this is good. I love this art. Um, this art is just simply amazing. Each, each 
like page you're all like what like I'll turn to a page that made me laugh uh, it's a very creepy page <laughs> it's very scary Jimmy Olsen always seemed like a weird kid because they really sometimes they act like they know what they're gonna do with him but then they don't so you know but I want to see John Romita Jr. do a Batman book, like a Batman graphic novel like this. I would just love it. I know he did Punisher and Batman, but that crossover, I'm not even talking about it. It's, it's weird. <laughs> so, yeah, I summed this book up. And for the writing, you know, ink, you know, that kind of stuff. And uh, what do I think of it? I'm going to course it down into three types. It's going to be a horrible, fine masterpiece. E I'm going to have to call it a masterpiece. A ma Wait, no, maybe four. Yeah, horrible, fine, perfect masterpiece. I'm going to have to give it a three. Perfect. Because I changed it to masterpiece to uh, perfect for a second. Uh... I love this book. This book is amazing. If you have, I'm crouching down here, trying to get in the cover, into the, like, maybe I should back up. Oh, okay, there we go. So this book is amazing. If you haven't picked it up, you should totally pick it up. I bought it on Amazon. So good. Oh, and uh, I'm the Comic King. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more content like this. I will see you guys later.